I personally, as a filmmaker, was always aware of the, of the great comradeship of female film, filmmakers. Um, and you don't have to look very far to know how many f female filmmakers have always been making films. It just, they don't necessarily get the column inches. And we mm. all talk about, you know, films about directors like, you know, the wonderful Eight and a Half, which I'm very inspired mm. by, but they're always, you know, these male directors, these sort of male egos. So I'm kind of very interested in the female ego. So women's voice is very, are very, we're half, maybe more than half the population. So sometimes it's nice to have a man's view on a woman story. Sometimes it's very nice to have a woman on a woman. Because maybe, yeah? or on a man, of course, absolutely. It's really important to see how we see men and how we want to see men and what we think is heroic and what we think is something worth saluting, you know, and it needn't always be larger than life and it needn't be that kind of toxic masculinity because that's not what we want. So I think that it's going to work both ways, actually. It's a lot of wonderful women in the history and it will be even more in the future, I hope. I think that will take over. All my role models were men, and all the films that I loved were about men. And I didn't really think too much about that for quite a while, um, until I think I just generally started to develop my own kind of like political consciousness about the world around me, and started to question why that was. You're out on very thin ice when you then decide to make the films instead of just sitting, being, wishing you were Audrey Hepburn.